What's going on you Pokemon loving fiends? We're back at it again with another bloody tin opening and today we're gonna be opening up this fella and hopefully, hopefully, there is some, maybe some decent packs in here. I'm hoping there's some XY evolution. Seriously hoping because boy are those bad boys hard to get a hold of these days, especially at retail price and it makes sense. They came out in 2016, but nevertheless, you can find them in tins and you can find them in boxes if you're lucky. So uh, yeah, no, let's test out that luck today. Right, first things first, guys. Of course, we've got to look at the promo card. Zamazenta V, old big old shield face. As far as legendary Pokemon go, guys, this uh, these two aren't my favorite, and they're probably not even top three, top five even. But uh, yeah, nah, they're still pretty cool nonetheless. But right, yeah, nah. Code card, so good luck. Right, packs wise, we've got two Rebel Clash, we've got a Sword and Shield, and of course, we've got uh, Mr. XY Evolution's Raichu right there. The only. <laughs> Thing is, this, this tin cost me about uh, $18 US, and these bad boys alone will cost you about $18 US to buy them as loose pack. But if you want to get your hands on some evolutions for a reasonable price and actually get some other packs with it, I suggest you look for tins where you can find them. Jesus Christ, that uh, that Rebel Clash pack feels thick. So that's the order we're going to go in there. We'll start with Rebel Clash. Righto, enough chat and shite, let's go. Cute card. Oh, leaf energy. We got a lamp. We got, I don't know, is that uh, Nacho Libre? Seriously. <laughs> is it a gremlin? Is it a goblin? I, I mean, I do like more gremlin. I do like uh, its evolution line. We got Metatype, very cool artwork. We got Grubbin again, very cool artwork. We got Electabuzz, very cool artwork. We got Natsu, again, like that artwork. We got a sword. We got a reverse holo binacle, and on the end, we got a holo clock. Fable, okay. I like that. I do like that. Fable being an OG, of course, but I really do like that artwork. That is very cool. You are you are going to be one to beat today, but yes, guys, that is some first pack magic right there. Next pack, can we go four for four? It's never happened before, but hopefully, hopefully it happens today. Code card. An eye. Whoa! How have I never seen some of this artwork before? I must have skipped over Rebel Clash real quick, eh? Because uh, Darkness Ablaze next, and it was a bit more of a sought-after set. That is awesome. That is a that is a scared shitless Doug Trio next to well, a normal-looking Doug Trio. But why are they so intimidated? I don't get it. And then you got one right up in the back here. Anyways, moving on. Uh, we got a bloody switch. We got an energy retrieval. We got a Goldeen. We got a bloody happy dog, got a scorpion, we got an octopus, got a wooloo, got a reverse holo galvantula, kind of like that art, it's pretty cool, and on the end we got a sand conda, non holo, right, we're definitely not going four for four today, are we? Right, the thick pack, and I say it's thick, watch this pull absolutely nothing from it, but I do like it thick, you know that people, you do know that. Code, card, the way, lightning energy, car coal, heat more. Zatu, oh, he's messed it up. We've got a Bronzor, we've got a little Toxlane, he's cute. We've got a Candle, we've got a Lotad. Wow, that's a very cool artwork, Clefairy. So that goes with the Clefable that's just there. So I'm kind of glad I pulled that, even if we don't pull anything. We've got uh, bloody, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm just putting Clefairy up there with Clefable. We've got a bloody Reverse Hollow Growlithe. I can never be mad at Growlithe or Arcanine. They're just, they're, they're the OG dog Pokemon, and everybody loves dogs. And on the end, we've got a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. So, uh, Wow, we're hoping for some last pack magic, and I hate relying on evolutions. It is not, the pull rates and evolutions suck, especially from like tins and, and boxes and whatnot. Right, here we are, the moment of truth. I can already tell there's gonna be nothing in it, so I'm literally watching the money just drain out of my account after opening this bad boy, but uh, let's get into it, eh? Let's just, let's hopefully finish strong. Code card. Right, first things first, we got OG Polywell, gotta love it. We got Mr. Serious Brock's grip, but he can't open his goddamn eyes. We got Professor Oak's hints. We got the OG Magic Carp artwork. We got the OG Weedle artwork. We got an Electabuzz. We got a Drowsy. We got a Star U. Reverse Solid Fairy Energy. That's pretty cool. Please be something on the end. Please be something. Oh my God! We got a Raichu in a Raichu pack. I'll take that. Yes, that was worth opening. 
very much so. Gotta get a goddamn sleeve for that. That being said, why is it you pull right shoes in right shoe packs, but I have never pulled a Charizard in a Charizard pack, which sucks. I mean, probably the best set to try and get a Charizard in a Charizard pack would be Flash Fire. I'm pretty sure all the booster packs have flat, bloody Charizard on it. But um, yeah, nah, right. I actually love, these are my favorite things to pull from Evolutions, of course, because it just takes you back to the OG card. Didn't even check the centering on the back. So a little bit heavy on the left there, a little bit bottom heavy, but on the front, it, oh, actually, it's absolutely shocking on the front, but you couldn't really see it because it's all yellow. See, so very thin over there. I don't, regardless, guys, I'm not getting this graded, but I just, I, I love it. I absolutely love this card because it just takes me back, and that's why I love pulling it, and that's why Evolutions is such a goddamn popular set because it brought the vintage cards into the modern era, and it gave people that never got to open those cards who weren't born in the 90s but just love Pokemon the chance to sort of feel what it was like for the OG people to uh, open cards back in the day, and obviously it brings that nostalgia back for those that did. So, yeah, no, nah, okay. Okay, we rarely hit, rarely, rarely hit with evolutions. My brother's opened up a lot of evolutions himself and his luck was atrocious and he absolutely despises it, yet he still he still wants to get more packs to open just to change that luck. But yeah, nah, guys, I'm happy with that. We didn't get anything more than a hollow, but when you, the thing is, like I said, for me anyways, these are the ones that I'm most sought after in the evolution set, of course. I don't know if I already have the right you though. I need to double check. But um, you can definitely tell the difference between the classic artwork and the modern artwork. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Plus, we got the old... Reverse Hollow Fairy Energy, which has apparently been discontinued as an energy, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure someone told me this, so that's actually quite a good pull. But, uh, yeah, nah, guys, righto. Happy with that. I'm glad I didn't waste, uh, waste me money on that bad boy. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, guys. It was nice to open up some evolutions again. But, um, sweet. Yeah, nah, righto. At the time of this video, we're so close to that thousand sub mark, guys. So, I'm hopefully hitting it by the end of the week. I'm literally smashing out videos this week just so we hit it. Big milestone for me. Big milestone for the channel. Got some major videos lined up for a thousand subs celebration guys including a nice little giveaway got lined up so you're going to want to be a part of that so get subscribed and get like and get commented and get your friends bloody sub just so we can get there so i can get these bloody videos out there right oh guys while you're being massive legends though make sure you hit me up on instagram at super smash pokemon 64 i like to see your pulls on there also and you can boast about your pulls to me i mean you can boast about your pulls in the comment section below also but um yeah, no, guys i hope you enjoyed the video and again i appreciate you watching but um yeah no, guys other than that I hope you're all doing well no matter where you are in the world. But as always, take it easy. Peace out.